What is good guys, Danny Boy back here with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Me and Pikachu are about to head up in this cave. I'm all set, dude. Which way should go? Mount Freeze, dude. Always Mount Freeze. Let's do our best to reach the peak. So, I'm super versed. I'm still super confident in my ability. So, what level is Absol? 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I might have overshot it a bit. But, I look at it this way. Now I don't think I have to... <gasps> it's a Reviver Seed. Yes, I want this. I want this. I'm gonna... Oh, wait. I want to eat this apple. I want to switch it with that used TM I had for Brick Break. Which I still randomly have. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. I know why I have it. It's because I can't freaking um, put it in storage. Freaking human of a hoe. I think it Absol dies. I don't think we die. But, like I was saying, I put so much time and effort into training so much that now I really don't feel bad about it. I don't think I'll ever need to train again, and that makes me happy because this game is very long. So basically, Absol's the one that we gotta take care of. So I'm really excited. I, I, I was very angry last episode. I'm sure you guys could tell that I was angry because I kept saying I was angry. I just wanted to fight somebody. I'm sorry. I shouldn't take that on on you. I just really want to find Ninetales and see if I am really the guy that abandoned Gardevoir because like if I did do it I'm sorry dog like that's on me that's on me I I, I, I admit I admit it because that you know I've always been that type of guy where if I know I did something wrong I always admit to it like for example um, I, th I think I did something stupid at work and my boss is like who did this and He's like, whoever did is in trouble. I'm like, well, I, I did it, and I, I'm going to own up to what I did wrong. And then he goes, I can't believe you did that. Blah, blah, blah. And he gives me like the ninth degree, or the what is it, tenth degree, second degree? I don't know what, it, I don't know what it's called. But, you know, you just got to own up to, to your actions, guys. You just always got to do that. Little, little word of advice, always own up to your actions. Whether they were justified or not. If you, if you genuinely did something wrong, you need to apologize. Because... Honestly, that's all you can most of the time all you can really do is offer an apology and most of the time That's all people really want to hear is just you admitting to your mistake So just apologize even though you know what's lies in the words of uh, Eminem or Marshall Mathers whichever name you prefer to give him My goodness, I sure do love speed up buttons. I gotta tell you what and we've also been getting really lucky with the stairs Oh, I want the iron thorn but I used all mine already from earlier I also use lots of grab the rocks. <laughs> grab the rocks are the best thing on the planet. I think in the next. Oh no! Absolute! Don't kill him. Okay, cool. Let's see. But yeah, what was I going on? Oh yeah, admit to your mistakes, kids. Always. If you done did it, then you done did it. If you're named Jeff, then your name Jeff. If you got these nuts, got them. And you got them. Oh wow, just my standard attack does 44 damage. What even is this? What even is this? This power creep is real. I, I do not regret spending three weeks now. I think it was well justified. Because for anyone who's never played this game before, there are some significant... Um, boss battles we have ahead like there are so many legendary Pokemon battles. It's freaking ridiculous and we've also yet to I'll switch this out with this apple that I'm now going to eat Link boxes are pretty good. Ooh, what is this? Insomniscope. Oh, that just means we won't fall asleep But there's some major boss battles that go on with some legendary Pokemon And I'm just happy because I, I might do some side story stuff because at the end you can now evolve and all that other crazy stuff so I don't know. We'll see where this Let's Play takes us. Um, I do plan to have a special for. Um, I do plan to have a special for um, Halloween or like in October in general. I do want to play a video game. So I'm not sure yet what video game it is we will be playing um i'm thinking pokemon snakewood i think by the time you see this it might already be october or like really close to it 
So I don't know. So if I do something, you'll probably have already seen it. If I don't do something about it, then oh well. This is, I think, episode 20 or 21. I don't know. I couldn't remember the last episode either. Yolo McFlurry. 13 floors. My goodness. Even though we've only done it in five minutes, like still, that's like a lot of floors. And there are the stairs right there. We were just killing slackings, guys. We were killing literal slackings, and it just makes me so happy. Just Absol is actually the nuisance, and the last time I played this game, Absol was like the only reason why I even won some of these things. But yeah, I, I if you guys don't know, Halloween is like my favorite holiday, because I love making Halloween-themed uh, treats and goodies. I might even do a video on it. I also bought a cake pan that is in the shape of a jack-o'-lantern, and I also make many cakes for people. Ooh, another reviver seed. Oh, Lord, bless the Lord every day. God, Papa bless, dude. Papa bless. That Papa, I'm getting a Papa John's pizza today, and I'm going to have it blessed. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually 1 o'clock. It's literally just turned 1 o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this. Oh, okay, you know what? I can go on now because I'm super strong. So frick you. Lately. Fight me, bro. Take that, boy. It's that boy. Let's see. So yeah, what have, what have I said this episode? Take responsibility for your actions, and then these nuts, I got them. So basically, I've said something philosophical, and then reset dead memes. Frick you, Absol. Quit trying to do stuff by yourself. There we go. Also, why do you know Taunt? Why? What? Why do you know such trash moves? There you go. Now you can use not trash moves. Because I fixed you. Just like a dog, I have fixed you. Is it Bob Barker, that, that's the guy that always says, remember to spay and neuter your pets? What the freak is wrong with that guy? He's been on the TV for years, and he just keeps telling me to neuter my dog. God, he's freaking creepy as hell. No, I'm kidding. I like Bob Barker. I can't remember what show that is. I can't remember if it's, um... I think it's Price is Right. No. Maybe. I don't know. But we finally arrived! This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Ninetales is. There they are. I spotted Daniel D. Alright, I see them. Uh-oh. Freaking Alakazam. Absol's like, oh, I am not dealing with this ish right now. Uh, Alakazam? It's about time. We finally caught up to you. Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here. Pipe down, Tyranitar. We can finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight. Pikachu, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Oh my god. Freaking Charizard, man. Daniel D, I didn't wish for this conclusion, but this, too, is fate. The role of a rescue team is to help bring peace. We will crush you with every shred of our power. Get them. I honestly think I could beat them. If we were to fight right now, I honestly believe I could beat them. Also, you have freaking stage 1 Pokemon going against freaking stage 3 Pokemon. So, yeah. Cease at this... At mo... the Cease this at once. What? N Ninetales? What? Ninetales? That's Ninetales. The legend. It was real. Yes, Godzilla, man. It was real. What? What's a good girl voice? Girl voice! Girl voice! Freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, man. Every day, all day. Last episode and this episode. Cease fighting at once, Alakazam. They are my guests. Tell us, Ninetales. Who was the human that appeared in your legend? No, even before that. Was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether they consider my curse to be a legend or not, I care not. Ooh. Soft rhyme. Actually, I think she rhymed the same word with the same word. Gutsy, but I like it. However... It did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, however, that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. It was it selflessly bore the full brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did self did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon, transformed into Pokemon the human. The human lives on. And that human would be? Who is that human that you speak of? Daniel D, you may relax. It is not you. Huzzah! This, Justin, you are not the father! Just now, what did you just say? Daniel D is not the human that appears in the legend. That is what I said. What? What? 
What's happening to me? I'm too tense to move. Oof. Oof. Deep breaths in, out, in, out, in, out. Whew. Oh wow, fantastic. You just probably heard the, just the most microphone peaks you've ever heard in your life. That's great. I knew that Danny wasn't involved. I knew it. There's no way that Danny would have done would have would do those terrible things. I have another thing to say. It is true that I foretold of the world's balance becoming unstable. However, that human becoming Pokemon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamities, it exists elsewhere. Hey you, you were wrong. You were wrong to hound on and harass Daniel D. Uh er we uh, apologize. Freak yeah, man. We're sorry we got worked up by that Gengar. No, I subjected Gengar right from the start. Daniel D just doesn't look like the treacherous type. Charizard, you are you are canon and I love you. If only that were true. But I must say, you are a, to be commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Daniel D. Uh, excellent, I knew I was right. Huh? Oh, but wait. Then why did Daniel D turn into a Pokemon? I understand that Daniel isn't the it isn't the human from the legend. Then how do you explain Daniel becoming a Pokemon? Daniel D, who are you? My name Jeff. Whoa, the ground's heavy. A quake? The world's crust is shifting. The natural calamities are worsening, and the shifting of the ground it will awaken the beast that embodies the ground, the beast that slept deep underground. Groudon will be awakened. What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? But what is that? What is what's a Groudon? A legendary Pokemon that has been spoken of only in myths. It is that Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It's said that to have taken us to it is said to have taken to sleep after catastrophic battles with its arch enemy Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We'll go too. No, you must remain behind. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well-earned rest. Don't worry about us. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. We'll get the job done, and we'll be back before you know it. Fine. We're off to quell Groudon. Why? Why? I, I mean, I, I think I could beat Groudon. And thus? And thus, Alexan's team made their way underground to quell the awakened Groudon. Meanwhile, cleared of all suspicion, Daniel D. Green's team, blah, 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 the DGP, put an end to their long and arduous journey, and returned to their welcome, welcoming rescue team base. I cannot speak English. I would love to save my adventure, but it's never going to be saved. It ends is wrong. Meanwhile, back in Pokemon Square. Kiki, you lot. Why aren't you out there hunting down Daniel D.'s team? That's easy for you to say. It's too much for us. They say Daniel D's team has gone way far out there. If we went the best we could hope for, maybe... The Lapis Cave? I joined the chase, but they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there, and that's where I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Daniel D's team after that, but those fugitives to think they would risk Mount Blaze. They've grown up tough. I can't wait. I can't keep up. Ha ha ha. I like Shift Tree. What a spineless lot you are. Where are you? What are you doing, Gengar? You're full of big talk. What about your team, Gengar? Just hang around in the square and don't do a thing. Walk the talk. You guys go. We're out of that picture. Our role is to receive word about Daniel D's demise. Tch. Just appointed yourself that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Medicham, what's the word? Daniel D. Daniel D is... Oh, finally. We're finally rid of Daniel D. Kick, kick, kick. No. It's the opposite. He's back. What did you say? Sup, dog? Hi. Hey, over there. Daniel D. They're back. Hi, everyone. We're back. Ooh, we finally made it back. We've been gone for so long. It feels kind of nostalgic to be back in the square, Daniel. Hey, Pikachu. Oh, it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. What was that smug confidence? Maybe. Gengar, everything you said was completely wrong. Daniel D. had nothing to do with it. He was innocent. <laughs> what? Is that true? Yep, yeah, we met nine tails and ass. Daniel D isn't the human from the legend. We're back because we discovered the truth. <laughs> okay, wait, wait a second. You, you, you can't be trusted yet. If you're going to make the claim, let's see some proof. Proof? That's right, some hard evidence. Kick it. Let's see some proof. Come on, out with it. Proof? We don't have any proof. 
<laughs> Dude, you don't have any proof. You can't come back for us. You can't come back for us, so you, you can get rid of you easier. How can come? Blah, blah, blah. How conveniently fool, foolish. I'm foolish because I cannot read plain English. Now, fellow Pokemon, here's your chance to get rid of Daniel. K -k 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 -k. And no one's doing anything because they all love me because I'm freaking awesome. The spasmos. I got the spasmos. What's wrong, everyone? Don't you want to get rid of Daniel D? I, I always believed in Daniel D. Don't fool me. Ugh. I, I, I was saved by Daniel's team before. I joined the chase with a heavy heart because of your urging. But I simply can't think of Daniel D being bad in any way. <coughs> Man, Gengar makes a lot of ugh noises. He's on his Watsonegu. Get to the chopper. Get to the rescue team base. I've heard enough too. I believe Daniel D. That's right. Who needs proof? Well, technically, this would not work in the real world. Please, everyone, bring proof. <laughs> everyone. Extra, extra, read all about it. We got my boy Pelipper. What, what's this? It looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? Okay, I'll read it all out. Let's see. Pokemon News Extra. Daniel D. Innocent. Daniel met with Ninetales under the watchful eye of Alakazam and proved that it had nothing to do with a human in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. End. <laughs> Freaking Gengar, you rotten. Yeah, run! Stop the lie, you, con you conned us. Ah, uh, good friends. Good friends to chase after the enemies that conned me. Welcome back. Yep, it's good to be back. We're back like we promised. Sniffle. I'm so glad. Yep, I'm glad too. We don't have to keep running from everyone anymore. Daniel D? We're both exhausted. I'm gonna get some sleep. Our rescue team gets revived tomorrow. Let's try to do our best. Also, I am still like only like what normal rank, bronze rank, the next morning. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this long and eventful episode full of plot, mystery, and solving mysteries and other stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Danny Boy out.